Oh, this is real fast. We have to move this finger and put it closer to this finger because every picture that we saw. I see where you yep. uh, The quarterback has his forefinger free from his other three fingers. It just seems the typical way they handle the ball uh -huh. and hand it off. And of course, we see none of that right there, and you can't in the original poster either. Right. You see what I'm talking about? I do. Okay. So, what's happening here is as it gets larger, things become more you know, and flop it around. Things get more and more obvious and more incorrect looking. I, I have no other way to say it. I understand. That. Yeah, that's so true. So, we're, we're kind of making adjustments as we go along. So now I'm going to go to the quarterback, and we haven't quite yet, uh, we haven't quite yet got all the fill in back here. The helmet needs a little, obviously, more finessing, and the, all the faces do. But I feel like now we're kind of getting the form of the quarterback's back and his arm extended about right. We're starting now. We're in no pun intended the ballpark. Um, and based on the look of the poster and the well everything it seems to be coming that way a lot of this though i just have to say a lot of this is just for instance that ring right there uh-huh that's just kind of representing now the movement that takes place in his jersey i'm that's not going to necessarily stay like that it's just part of the issue of what happens uh, okay, I'll talk now about this back guy. Uh, he is sort of put in position, and he's looking over here, and that guy's looking over there like in the poster because they're blockers, and they're sort of heading for where the enemy's coming at them. Uh, can anybody think of anything else you want to say? Just chime in any time. Oh, uh, let me think. Okay, one of the things that we want to do here, and you see it right here. Uh, in, the, in the original poster and in these two guys standing here posing, they have a belt with loops and a buckle. Right. Okay, I'll just do this. Okay, yeah, no, I'm listening. Okay, the, the point that I'm going for is that seems to be the dress that is taking place in the poster. Yes. And right. we can see it up over here, too, yeah. more clearly. Uh, so you're going in that direction with, with the waist? Yeah, for sure. Because it's in the poster, and it's going to make a lot more interesting sculpture all the way around. To see the belt and the belt loops and stuff like that, it's so different from a contemporary uniform uh -huh. and it sort of represents the time yeah. <laughs> so to speak and notice that the leather helmets are <laughs> notably different yeah and we're just basically starting to rough things in like that okay this guy does not yet is yet have a neck his helmet isn't uh, completely taken care of his face is just roughed in and the articulation of his jersey is barely there, and it's barely there on anybody's. Okay. Uh, it is a whole lot easier, I can tell you, to work. Well, you can see these guys. They're taller than I am, and, but it's easier to work, of course, down here. Down here, because we have to work off these uh, scaffolds and the other scaffoldings and ladders that we have around. This, well, is, this it, is a little interesting aside. Yeah. We ran on a clay just before you got here. Oh. And I've had it on order for a long time. And, it, it, and uh, I called them yesterday and I said, is my order in? And they said, what order? <laughs> oh, so that really <laughs> set us a little bit, well, anyway. But they made up for it. They compensated, went right to the manufacturer, got it for us and brought it to their um, site. I'm saying that because you notice that there's a coloration difference between the background, which is just painted, and I'm going to come back to this in a bit. It's just there, 
so that the contrast is sort of there, but it's not completely there. One of the things that I was thinking about at the foundry is that the background can have a little deeper tone and the players will have the, I'm gonna say the highlighted tone. Cause in bronze, you can sort of polish out surfaces yeah, and you yeah. can bring out these lovely uh, luminous areas. And right now, you don't see any of that. As a matter of fact, there aren't even any areas where that's possible. Maybe up here in a couple of leaves where they're a little more smoothed out, but they're still very, very la laid in, so to speak, because you can see the fingerprints of the clay getting put on and all like that. Mm -hmm. if, if you look right up over, now there's no place to look. O only in the leaves are starting to get a little more refinement. Yeah. So I want to come back to the leaves, but I want to continue with the players. And, and this is an issue that I really want to take up with you all. In the poster, and if you look at it, and you look carefully, you see that this back guy right here, the fullback, has his arm showing right in front of the profile of the quarterback. You can see it in your poster there, too. Oh, he's yeah. And, and boy, look at this in reality. Right. That's really a clumsy area. Yeah. It's his, the, the quarterback, which is maybe a really important issue here, is getting obscured by that guy's arm back there, and it doesn't have to. His arm could make, be made to look like it's disappearing behind the head and shoulders and chest of the quarterback. A serious request that I'm making. Okay. See what I'm talking about? I do. I also see on the on the poster, like you can see his hand on the below the armpit of the quarterback. Which is another serious request that I'm making. It yeah. clutters. Now, you're looking at this straight on, but if you lay down on the ground, you're still not as low as you would be as a spectator. And when you look down from the ground, it's going to look like a bunch of junk behind the, the see, profile see. of the... So your idea another... would be to carve the profile out and leave that as a background? I want to, what I want to do is carve his arm away yeah. and kind of make it look like his arm is just hidden behind the quarterback, which it could easily be. It's not like this is an unusual thing. No. But you see what I'm talking about. I do. And I think this is something I'd like to, you to communicate to Joan. I will. In looking at the poster once again, uh, this hand down here, right. that's a worrisome thing too because that's going to look pretty cheesy from down on the ground. And it may look like part of his privates and I can guarantee you somebody's going to do that and there's <laughs> there's a statue over in Burbank where there's a, a cop with his he, he's going like this basically and every single day somebody puts a rubber on the end of his uh, <laughs> forefinger every single day they tell me it's kind of stupid and yeah, funny but it is. okay uh, so that hand that hand right there and this hand right here, can you see that hand coming I do through see that underneath one. that guy's arm? Yep. That's just not going to read from the scale that we have in the the distance. And this has to take a, some simplicity, too, because details like that don't read. And especially, they won't read when you have this severe up view on it. It's going to look like a raccoon got up there and crapped on his you know, wherever it is. Where is it? It's right. Yeah, that right there, that hand. And it makes sense in the in the poster, sort of, because he's leaning against the fullback a little bit to, uh, I, I suppose, help get some thrust going and pushing and all like that, but I just don't see it. So how, how would you propose readjusting his arm? Because his arm is still going to be visible, right? I mean, there's... Well, here it is. Yeah. And... Once again, it's just going to trail in behind. If we if we lift this just a little bit, or bring a, a wrinkle over here a little bit, it looks like this arm is flying back and going behind the fullback. That's that's my proposal. Well, I think that figure in particular is the one that looks a little awkward to me. This yeah. one here? Yeah. Yeah. I mean that. Really? Like his arm is bending back and he's moving in a different direction. You know. 
Well, um, what to say? Well, it's not. You can you can see the the slope is kind of the same. His elbow is probably lifted up a little higher. Yeah. In the piece. Yeah. It's so like I guess, guys, we lower that elbow and that arm a little bit. And actually, that arm, you know, when you're running, you can thrust an arm back like that, and it can disappear once again behind the uh, fullback back there. I, I'm pushing for that very hard, mostly because I just don't want to show that hand coming through over in here somewhere. It's going right. to clutter pretty badly. Yeah, you could do that and then lower it. I mean, it makes sense that this is out here. It just happens to be blocked by the arm. But maybe what we have is something still. Like yeah, it's that. just up yeah. higher. Yeah. Well, it looks on the on the from the posture on the poster, mm -hmm. the shoulders are level. Well, yeah, you still have one that's higher than the other. Yeah, yeah. it's actually pretty high. Yeah. yeah. I. Yeah, we can adjust. I I like the motion of it, and it's something in sculpture. Uh. That movement there is better than that horizontal movement there. Uh -huh. Do you need to move into the shade so you're not bothered by the sun, or are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, okay. I, I can manage to So that, that's my thinking here. I just like a little diagonal as against uh, the levelness that's definitely in the poster. You could probably shave that shoulder pad an inch down, and maybe that'd be kind of a compromise yeah. there. It'd yeah. still be elevated, but it wouldn't look so... If you hear anything, guys, just talk. Well, what, one thing that just seems weird to me, it's in the poster, and I think Waylon got it pretty much in the, in the, the this guy, the middle guy. Uh-huh. And, and just to hit the direction he's looking just seems strange. Seems like he's look at, looking at the other guy's hand for some reason. Oh, if he was yeah. playing football, it just seems like he'd be like a little more... Yeah. Looking the direction they're going or yeah. something. Yeah. He just—he looks like he forgot something. And he's trying to remember, or <laughs> I don't know what. But it's—it's—it's it's, it's just weird that he's looking in that direction. Well, we've tried to adjust for that a little bit. We're—we're we're looking to see these guys coming where we are to block out somebody. Yeah. And one of the things that Joan mentioned was she wanted to see really a lot of. She wanted a lot of. Uh, I guess glory and animation and energy brought to the players, mm -hmm. which that's what we're also trying to do here. It, this is kind of an awkward time. There's not enough clay on there and not enough uh, movement in the jer in the jerseys and the pads and all like that. Uh, I don't know. Let me see that again. That the foam one that you have there. I was going to say I I thought we had talked about this. And they carved the these things right here. Can you see these? These thigh protectors. Yeah. Those they're not, they're not even clued in yet on the, on the piece, but they're there. And certain things like the pull of the wrinkles. Now he's just standing, but even in in the illustration, you can see that a little bit, and kind of how slouchy their <laughs> their jerseys looked compared to the really beautiful spandex that everybody wears now mm. but uh, what I'm what I'm trying to say is we're trying to catch some of the feel of the older uniforms and these pads and the socks you can kind of see a little bit where we're just kind of drawing it in to get a feeling for where things are yeah uh, so that none of that's in there yet uh, okay I want to go to that guy over there yet so as I understand it, we're going to be lowering that arm a little bit. Mm -hmm. It looks clumsy to you and probably will look to other people. It yep. doesn't look that way to me, but I'll, I'll, I'll go along with what you're saying. Because I, I, don't, I don't think that's problematic for me at all. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that, that's something that can be taken care of. Uh, in certain areas, they're still a little bit puffy. Um, that guy's got a cream puff of a rear end, for instance, but for the time being, we're going to get some more articulation in there. Um, she said she thought all the legs looked pretty good. Yeah, I, I agree with that. 
It, it looks like you... And she also made the comment that 